Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you so much for tuning in for this Monday morning edition. Today, I just want to go over again what I currently have in the garden, some of the new changes, some of the little modifications, some of the growth development, and making sure everybody's safe and making sure that you're getting the motivation that you need from me to know that you can do this at home. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mike. I am an indoor gardener, as you can see here, primarily hydroponics. I really focus on vegetables, things that don't require pollination, such as basil, a variation of uh, different herbs, a variation of different types of lettuces, everything from butter uh, lettuce to romaines, crispy lettuces, soft lettuces, uh, and I'm also growing some indoor tomatoes, and we're going to take a look at that too. So again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. This way you get notified every single time I upload a video. Anyway, enough for me blabbing on. Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. And uh, let's just dive right into it. So diving right in, I'm going to the bottom deck here. Uh, as you can see here, there's a little bit of a change. Now we have this large reservoir that was in the Mars Hydro Tent. It's now doing its business in the large tent. Let me tell you why. Uh, for everybody that's grown with, a, um, with an LED light, hey, kudos to you. I've been growing with T5s my entire hydroponic career, if you could call it that. Uh, unfortunately, I just wasn't seeing the results. Maybe I'm using it wrong, but there are such, such interesting differences of what I noticed. But let's compare a few things, and then we'll, you know, you guys can comment down below on what you feel you would have done. So let's take a look at this bin right here. Uh, first of all, this was actually outside of this reservoir before, and it was quite a ways away. As you can see here, let me take a seat down. As you can see here, the cord is now much shorter and we're getting much better oxygen pumping through a brand new aerator stone. So what I really noticed is, as you can see right here, these are my old, two old aerator stones. They're pretty dirty and I've had them for quite a long time. And either the insides have got gunked up or they basically deteriorated to the point where nothing is pumping out of them. Honestly, and I bought a few new aerator stones. They're a bit smaller, but let me tell you, they're pumping like beautifully. And I'm super stoked about that. Now, let me go on this side here and take a look in here. As you remember, this was on the uh, Mars Hydro and it had also an older aerator stone. As you can see here, this is really pumping out nicely. Now, if you could hear me talking over this pump, that means these pumps are just awesome, okay? These pumps are so quiet, you literally can't even hear. I mean, look, I'm right up against it here, basically, right up against it, and you can't hear it. This is the indoor pump that you should be using, hands down. I, I don't get any type of commission. I don't get paid by General Hydroponics. I'm just telling you the product that's best suited for indoor growing. One, two, and take a look at that. There's my third one that finally came. I got some fresh net pods. We'll take a look at that in just a few minutes, what I just got. But anyway, this whole setup right here was actually in that Mars Hydro tent. I just, I just don't know, guys. I, I don't know. Call me crazy. Call me whatever names you want. I'm just really not that into LED lighting, honestly. I find the T5s just a better overall atmosphere. And just take a comparison. Look, these, these plants, this one, this one, this one, look at that discoloration on those leaves. And this one, okay? This one's looking all right, pretty beefy. But look at the bottom leaves, crying for help. Look at that, it got burnt by the light. Now, these were under the LED light, okay? Now, can we go under and take a look at the, these two? Look at the stem size on this. Look at the bottom leaves. Look, just the overall canopy of this massive looking, beautiful starter. I mean, this is only a few, couple of weeks old, like two, I don't even know, maybe three weeks old. I'll have to look back at my videos, but take a look at the size of this in comparison to these. This is what I was calling sad. Truly, this looked sad. Now, hopefully I could revive them and bring them back to life, and hopefully I get four beautiful tomato plants the way that these two are going. Look at the difference in lettuce. I mean, overall, this one's fairly small because probably due to the oxygen levels, but look how large that one is. 
But what's interesting is, as you can see here, this is one of those discolored ones with the, with the, with the spots, right? Take a look what's going on with this one. That's the same plant. Why is it so dark? The darkness is nice, okay, but it obviously had some sort of variation difference due to the LED lighting. I mean, look how dark that one is, as well as this one, in comparison to this one under the uh, T5. I don't know what to think of it, but I just like the T5 better. Look at, this is, again, I want to I wanna reiterate myself that th these were planted at the same time these were. Look at this basil leaf. Okay, can you take a look at that? How beautiful does that look? Is that the most perfect basil leaf ever? I mean, look at that beautiful leaf. Same time, under the LED. Okay, I don't know. I'm just not, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you guys. Okay, this reservoir, this reservoir, went up at the same time as this one. Look at these, look at, look at this basil plant killing it. Well, actually, there, I apologize. There's three in there. That's why it looks so full. But look at the leaves on this. Look at the leaves on that. And this down here, okay, it's actually working under two T5s, not four. Remember, I still haven't fixed those two light bulbs back there, which I have to do immediately because in no time, these tomato plants will be higher. And what I'm going to do is, let me tell you this, I'm going to transplant. I'm going to, I need a, uh, I need shelving that'll fit inside of this tent. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have to get a T5 in here and uh, and probably allow for the tomato plants to be transitioned into there. I'm not even sure how I'm going to do that. I might have to do that in the next like week or two as they get a little bigger because once the root systems tie up underneath here, it's going to be a complete mess getting them out. Because as soon as the, the, the root systems combine, because they all usually kind of combine together, and it just becomes extremely difficult to separate or just get the plants out. So, But due to the height factor here, I want to transition the, uh, the tomato plants into something that I could have some height to. So I'll have to really put into consideration what I'm going to be doing there. But basically, this is the bottom setup now. So I have nothing going on in that Hydro Mars tent. Oh man, top shelf overflowing beautiful enormous monstrous butter lettuce leaves so tonight we had uh, burgers and instead of buns I took two leaves just like this and I wrapped my burger in them some pickles a little bit of Russian dressing it was unbelievable okay I mean don't get me wrong I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a carb guy I love bread I actually baked my own bread just this past week, I tried it for the first time. It wasn't difficult at all. It just took time. It was like a no kneading type of bread situation. I don't know anything about it. Uh, it didn't really puff up, but it was good. I ate it, I enjoyed it, but these burgers were unbelievable with just some, just some plain lettuce. It was awesome. Like literally, like uh, I forgot what, is it In-N-Out? That kind of, they have that, that style that you could just get it wrapped in lettuce instead of the, uh, the bun. I think so. Uh, but anyway, this week, this will probably get disseminated. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be crushing this this whole week. Okay? I, I could even literally pick this off here, and I did earlier today. Some of this lemon balm smells absolutely amazing. <laughs> and it's just growing and growing and growing. Did you hear that crunch of this leaf? It's so beautiful and just so jam-packed. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. Growing an enormous head of lettuce like this. It's beautiful, it's clean, it's in your house. It's a controlled environment. You could do this so easily. Take a look down below, just hit a few links. See what you can put together for yourself. You know what you need, okay? I've done many videos of what you need. Everything from the shelving, to the lighting, to the pump, to the reservoir, to the net pods, to the clay pebbles, to the rock wall. Okay, a lot of videos that you might see on the internet say, oh, you don't need this, you don't need that. It just makes it hard for you, okay? Follow the easy steps. Everything is listed down below. Go down there, take a look what you need, and then search for other alternatives that might meet your price point, or it's a faster shipping to your home to get this set up for yourself, okay? The food scarcity is here, okay? You might as well invest a couple of dollars, set yourself up just like this, 
and worry a little less because you could still survive on some lettuce and you could survive on some kale and you could grow as I am indoor tomatoes okay I'm gonna be planting some cucumbers in the probably this week and I'm gonna be starting them out just like this indoor okay I don't know if, what I'm gonna be doing on moving them outdoor I'm kinda of scared about it so we'll see what happens but anyway this is what I got going on as you can see here Abs absolutely beautiful delicious looking look at this kale I was eating some of it today it's absolutely delicious live kale never had to travel anywhere never had any insects or, or, or pesticides on it so delicious uh, it's just you know it's remarkable what you can do indoors take a look at this I hope you're all enjoying the weekend I hope you all enjoyed the weekend I hope you're staying safe staying indoors wherever you need to do uh, make sure you're eating well eating clean get the exercise that you need and I hope you and your family stay safe guys make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video hit the links down below I hope you all have a blessed week until next time